dogs and zebras. Mukbang, 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 bang, mukbang. Mukbang. Yes, dogs and zebras. And I'm also going to give you my other intro. Frugal Diva. Frugal Diva. What, what? Frugal Diva. Southern Charities Bakery. Southern Charities Bakery. Yes, dogs and zebras. Frugal Diva. And we are having today sushi and salad. So we have this wide assortment, a variety of sushi and salad, and we have it courtesy of Trader Joe's. So today I want to just tell you I have sparkling water from Trader Joe's, and it is lime infused. Of course, y'all know I love to put my fruits in my water. I love to put my fruits in my water. Anyway, um, so yes, this is these are pineapples, frozen pineapples, that I'm going to Tempura shrimp crunch rolls with a dynamic dipping sauce, sweet sauce, and tempura crunch from Trader Joe's. We also have, why is my, oh gosh, just now. We also have California rolls, and it includes sushi, I mean, sorry, it includes Soy sauce, ginger, and wasabi. Wasabi, which I will not be eating because wasabi is too hot for me. And then we have Trader Joe's lemon chicken and arugula salad. Seasoned grilled white chicken meat with Israeli couscous and red quinoa with a spicy red pepper dressing. So let's open them up. Oh, it smells wonderful. It smells really good. Mm. I have my fork, but I am also going to attempt to use chopsticks. This is the California roll. I, I always get California rolls. I love California rolls. I always get those. Always. Like always, always, always when I have sushi, I have California rolls. They have, I think, if I'm not mistaken, they have an all-you-can-eat uh, sushi bar, I believe, in Manhattan. And I do want to try that. Forgot what it's called. Oh, let me, uh, text my husband.
I told him that I'm doing um, my mukbang video, so can you please not come in making a whole bunch of noise? Hopefully one day we can get him to do a mukbang video with me. Raisins. Raisins. I'm raisins and spicy. my little finger in here see how okay. I'm not going to try to attempt to pick this up with any chopsticks I pray to a camera that uh hopefully I can pick stuff up with chopsticks and stuff. Dawns and Divas, how was your day? Hmm? How was your day? Okay, my day seems to be going a little great. How was your day, Dawns and Divas? Finally! Success, Dawns and Divas! Do y'all hear that noise in the background? That's my husband. He don't like to be on camera, so. He's sitting here looking at me all crazy and stuff. once again so now we are going to attempt to try and use these chopsticks really good this is the um, tempura shrimp like I said I normally get the um, the California rolls all the time so I know that's gonna be good this sauce is excellent it's nice and sweet mm -mm -mm. I will turn this camera towards you, sir. Like, I don't want y'all to think that I'm talking to no one. Make some sounds, please. Y'all see I'm not moving or doing anything. Y'all hear stuff in the background. I know y'all do. Make some sounds, 
please, sir. He hate being on camera. Are you giving me the finger, sir? You know he stands him. <laughs> what did you say? What did you say? Okay. He wants y'all to think that I'm talking to no one. So that's why he being quiet as I don't know what. But they know I'm talking to somebody. You wanna know why they know I'm talking to somebody? Because while I was on camera. I let them know that I text you. You be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself. Trying to make national. A national video. Did you hear what he just did? I know y'all heard that. That's why I don't do videos when he in the house. I don't know why. I'm doing some divas. What was I gonna? I was gonna say something. Ah! That was an epic fail. We had to pick it up with the fork because that was an epic fail. It does give a little bit of a crunch to it. Not a big crunch, but a little crunch. Crazy. Well, I 
all y'all said today is Sunday, first day of the new week. I have spring break next week, starting Wednesday. But um, high school and junior high and elementary school, they already got out. I think they got out Friday. When I first thought it was kind of crazy. Oh, you gotta go to school Monday and Tuesday. And then get out Wednesday. But then I looked back on the calendar. And I saw why. Because when we started school, we started on a Wednesday. So I guess they're trying to balance it out. You know, I'm not doing so much talking because I'm trying to concentrate. On, on these chopsticks. This is the ginger. Wonder if it's spicy. So they have my scissors beside me. bit into it and it still ain't do anything. Ooh, that tastes good. Like, mmm. Oh, this isn't spicy. It's like pickled. ginger oh I like I like that I never ever um I never even ever, I never bothered to open it up as many times have I gotten it I never bothered to, bother to open it up I wish I would have It's pickled, it tastes wonderful. But what I'm not gonna open up is this wasabi. I ain't got to worry about that. So I've tasted wasabi before. Wasn't pleasant at all. At all, it wasn't pleasant. It just wasn't pleasant. This sweet sauce is excellent.
yesterday. I went to go see the movie Get Out. Ginger. And I'm glad I didn't watch so many different of the previews. It was really good. Interesting movie. Not scary at all. There was only one part where I kept my eyes closed because I'm not into that gore when he was um, doing the trying to do the uh, the brain transplant and they were showing that. Kept my eyes closed for that point. I, I'm not into gore. But other than that, it was an excellent well, it was excellent movie all around, but other than that, it wasn't scary at all. Not at all. Mr. Peel, being the funny man that he is, honestly, I wouldn't expect him to make such a thought-provoking movie. But... Of course, we all know you can't judge a book by its cover. There are a lot of um, actors and actresses who, for whatever reason, Excel at the second, the excel more at the second thing that they do within the entertainment field than the first, or also or on the same or on the same level. Like they're excellent at both things. Prime example. Um, what's his name? The Rock. Started off as a wrestler. And he makes excellent movies. Like, excellent. Um, LL Cool J. Started off as a rapper. And he does really good sitcoms and, 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 um, and movies. Ice Cube. Listen, y'all. It's hard for me to talk because I'm concentrating on this, so I'm going to just pick it up like this. Um. Queen Latifah. Mark Wahlberg. Um, no. Mark Wahlberg don't fit into that category. Because I actually think he is a way better actor than he was ever. <laughs> a rapper. I ain't even considered him to be a rapper. But he is a handsome, way better actor. So he don't fit in that category of being able to multitask. Uh, what's the guy? The guy from Happy Days. I forgot his name, but he has directed a lot of movies. Excellent director. Excellent director. So at first he was in front of the screen. Now he's behind the scenes. And excellent. Once again, going back to Ice Cube. Rapping, acting. I think he also, I don't know if he just produces or directs, but either way, in front of the screen, behind the screen, he is a powerhouse.
What about the guy that's going through the divorce? Um, the comedian. What's his name? Well, Ice Cube. I know his name is escaping me. His name is escaping, escaping me. Um, Jamie Foxx. They can sing this behind off. And he acts. Matter of fact, he started out acting, comedian acting, and then went over into the genre of singing. Most of the people from the um, Disney Channel, uh, Nickelodeon, all of them. Like, I think to be... To be a part of or be successful on those channels, on those kids' channels, you have to be a triple threat. Where you can either play an instrument or sing, act, um, you know, rap. You got to be a triple threat. Dance. The majority of those people are those um, young talents on Nickelodeon and Disney are all like triple threats. Example of that is um what is her name? Selena Gomez. I used to love watching her on the Wizards of Waverly Place. Yeah, don't judge me. I watched the Wizards of Waverly Place and I wasn't nowhere near even a teenager. I was a grown adult. I said I was a grown adult, like I'm not a grown adult now. Y'all get what I'm saying. And I still watch a lot of uh, kid shows. Shows that are kid shows. I'm, I'm not really a cartoon person, but I like those shows like Wizards of Waving Place and um, Good Luck Charlie and I think of some of the newer ones. All the little Wiz Kids shows. Speaking of that, the Grassy High. Now, I never saw the Grassy High when um when Drake was on. Because when I watched the Grassy High, I was actually in like high school. So I used to watch the old Degrassi High. I never watched the new Degrassi High. So I never seen the ones the ones with uh Drake on. But he also is an example of triple threat. So in any case, Dawes and Divas, I am woo, have three uh Tempura shrimp left, one California, some salad left, but I'm full. So Dawns and Divas have a frugal diva day. Smitches! 
Hey Dolls and Divas, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting for. And if you are subscribed, make sure your notifications bell is turned on. And leave a comment. Tell me what we should mukbang next. I am going to try to incorporate this with Facebook. So if I am making the food for my mukbang, I will upload the making of the food to Facebook. And then I'll come over here and do the mukbang on YouTube. Smooches!